everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode for Cup of Tech. Today I've got the old Faithful Cup back, love the branding. Now last week I asked you guys a little bit about the iPad Mini. Now while it's still rumoured, a lot of you guys tended to agree that if you own an iPad and own an iPhone, you probably wouldn't actually need an iPad Mini, but if you didn't own an iPad, yeah maybe you would go for the smaller version for reading and whatnot. Thank you so much for commenting, let's get on with the show. Just last night, I went into the city for the grand opening of Samsung's first, in Australia, experience store. Now, the store is conveniently located around 100 odd meters from Apple's first Australian store in Sydney as well. Huge Apple store. And Samsung's open just a little bit down, down the road. Now, when I walked into the store, it was a very, very nice, really nice layout, full of Samsung gear, obviously, as you expect. The staff are wearing blue shirts, similar to another store I've been to. But they're wearing polo shirts, they've got collars, they can get into clubs. Um, but just to sort of give you a bit of an idea about the store, it's really about getting you into the Samsung experience. So realizing that when you buy a, you know, a Galaxy S3, that it's not just a phone on its own, it also works really well with their TVs and works really well with their cameras and, and laptops and things like that. So it really shows you how all of their technology brings in together as one amazing hub. Now, that was really cool to see. They had a huge cake. It was a Galaxy S3 like this in white, but huge. I'll put a picture on screen for that one. Um, while we were there as well, we also got to get our first look at the Galaxy Beam. The Galaxy Beam is sort of like a, almost like a Galaxy S2, but at the top of the phone, you've got a projector. So you can actually point it to a wall and beam or project everything that you see on the screen. So videos and things like that, that's really cool, especially if you're you know, amongst friends, you're like, oh, check out this video, just point it to the wall, and you can, you can actually start watching a quite a nice size screen. Very, very cool. They also announced the Galaxy Note 10.1 as released in Australia, as of today, I guess. And, uh, and that looks pretty cool too. It's like a big Galaxy Note, but just a tablet with the stylus, which you can draw on, or the S Pen. And that, that looks kind of cool too. I'll try and get both of those or one of those in for review, but we'll wait and see. Now, one of the things which I liked about the Samsung store over the Apple store was that if you went in and you wanted to get a phone, whether it was, say you went to Apple store to get an iPhone or went to the Samsung store to get an S3, um, you didn't have to buy the phone outright. In an Apple store, you have to buy the phone. They don't have affiliations with carriers within the store. Whereas in the Samsung store, they have t a table for every carrier. So you'll go to this Telstra area where they've got the Galaxy S3 and the Note and the S2 4G and so on, and you can commit to a contract there and then. So you don't actually have to go in there and spend whatever it is on, on the S3. You can go in there and sign up to a plan with Optus or Telstra or Vodafone, and that is brilliant because you can go into the store, experience it, and commit to it in more ways than one. You can analyze all the different plans in one hit as well. Really cool move. Apple really needs to do the same thing. That really is one of the biggest things that I loved about it, the store itself is designed for humans. <laughs> the day before I went to the Samsung event, I went to Ferrari. I went to Ferrari in Sydney and it was actually, I was there for the Ferrari by Logic 3 headphone launch. Now what an amazing place to launch these headphones, obviously with their affiliation with Ferrari, Logic 3 held the event there amongst some amazing cars and it was just for me uh, one of the best experiences I've had in terms of a launch ever. So you know we got to have a look at all of the full range of headphones and even docks that they're bringing out. Some really really good quality stuff and you can really see one of the things I had to mention was you can really see how they've brought the qualities of the Ferrari brand into um, into the headphones because if you're gonna make a pair of headphones and stick a Ferrari badge on it Ferrari is going to want to make sure that they're a good pair of headphones because a poor, a poor reflection on the brand in terms of quality is something that Ferrari don't want. So they actually told me that um, Luca um, Montezemelo, who's, who's very, very high up in Ferrari, actually looked at the headphones before they were given the go-ahead and said, yes, these look good. And that sort of told me straight away that these are pretty serious headphones. Now in saying that, I have got a pair of the T250 Cavalinos to, uh, to review, and I've also got a pair of the P200 Scuderia ones as well. So I'm gonna give you like a review on the, on the race versions and a review on the extremely classy, sexy Cavalino range as well. 
So that was really cool. Um, I also met up with a guy, Edward, um, from Ferrari. He gave me a, a bit more of a show than anyone else. I went, got to go around the whole dealership and see really the ins and outs of the Ferrari dealership and how they operate. Thank you so much, Edward, for that. Um, just had to say thank you. I received an announcement in the mail just the other day from Nikon or Nikon, depending on where you're from. Now, they've announced a whole range of cameras, you know, Coolpix cameras and whatnot, which is all well and good. But one of the ones which I, you know, really had my attention was one particular camera, the S800C, which is going to run Android. So Android, the operating system I see on Samsung phones and whatnot, is going to be running on this camera. Now, the camera itself is a decent enough point-and-shoot camera. Um, you know, it's got Wi-Fi for photo sharing, GPS for geotagging, 16 megapixel um, camera with a 10 times optical zoom, something which, you know, camera phones can't have. Um, but best of all, because it runs Android, you're going to be able to put apps on there. So when I take photos on this, I can use it in Instagram, I can upload to Twitter and Facebook and wherever else I want to put them. You'll be able to do the same thing on the Nikon camera. So I think that's really cool because you'll definitely be taking great quality images on a, on a nice point and shoot camera, but you'll also be able to manipulate them and upload them immediately. So in terms of saving space on your card, brilliant, because you can upload wherever you want, even just back it up to, you know, Picasa or whatever you actually use for photo sharing. So really, really smart and it makes a lot of sense. I'll be interested to see what apps get developed for the camera and how much you can really start to do with it. I think. I just, want, I just want to try one. I just think it's really, really smart and I want to see more of it. Something a little bit different that I read about this week was the Bluetooth bulb. I, I say globe. I don't know. Tell me if in your country you call them light globes or light bulbs. I think for years I've been calling them light bulbs. Globes. Anyway, so the Bluetooth bulb is coming out. Now, it's not like an ordinary bulb. It's actually packed with LED lights, so it's energy efficient. But I said Bluetooth. Now, the globe or the bulb, um, which you're putting in this in the ordinary socket, has Bluetooth on it. So what you can do is you can pair your phone or tablet or PC to the globe bulb, and you can control it. You can control the brightness. You can turn it off and on. And in the colored version, you can control which color it, you know, lights up in. So that's really really cool. It'll be 25 bucks from Amazon when they eventually go on sale in a couple of months. Um, and I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited to see them. Energy efficient, controllable wirelessly, and cool. It's a cool glow, bulb, light. I want one, three of them. I want, I want them all around here. One other thing as well I, I read this week from Finland, the home of Nokia, or Nokia. Um, phone throwing. They have a phone throwing competition. It's an annual event. This is something that people get together and they throw phones and the competition is to see how far you can throw your phone. Now, being someone who uses a lot of phones, man, I would, what I would do, what I would do to some phones if I could, not this one, this one's been quite good to me. I haven't wanted to throw this one yet, but I've had phones in the past where if I was close to a competition, I'd peg it. Now, one of the things I read, though, is the winner, the guy who won, I won't pronounce his name, it's a Finnish name, so it's probably like six consonants and one vowel, he threw it 101 meters. Did I just, did I just make a bad comment about Finnish people? 101 meters. Um, now, that's a huge effort. I think even if I was extremely angry at my phone, I'd struggle with 101 meters. I'm almost thinking of doing it. Let me know if, if, if it's something you want to see, how far I could throw a phone. I've got, I've got phones around here I'd love to throw. And I'd probably just do it on grass. Let me know. Let me know. If it's, do you want to see that? Do you want to see me do, do, just peg a phone as far as I can? I'll put it in the next week's show. Comment below. We'll find out. Also, this week posted the Sony RX100 review. I keep punching stuff. Um, the Sony one, RX100 review. I love that camera, and you can probably see the difference from last week's show to this week's show. The video quality just isn't as good, and uh, some of the photos I took with that camera were just amazing. Um, make sure you check out that review if you're looking at a, you know, a, a point-and-shoot camera, but a really high-quality one. Holy, holy coffee, that was an amazing camera. What's in me tonight? Sorry to people from Finland as well. I, 
I don't do second takes, so that's what you see is what you get. Um, thanks again for watching. <laughs> Comment below. You want to see me throw, throw a phone next week? Let me know. I'll find something. I'll, we'll see what we can do. Do you want to join me for the throwing competition? I'll do it. I'll organize an, an event. Comment below, and uh, I'll speak to you guys next week on Cup of Tech. Bye.